surprise! <laughs> it was a real pain getting that thing in here. It took five ex-cons and a crane, and I even found this little old German guy to tune it. He's a real craftsman, but it was worth every penny just to see the look on your face. Is this a bribe, Pop? That's a gift. What, you were suddenly hit by pangs of paternal generosity? Yeah, I get pangs. I didn't expect an outpouring of gratitude, John, but some small acknowledgement, maybe a, a simple thank you. Still searching for the proper response, I guess. Like I never gave you anything? Not with any strings attached, no. Something being in it for you? Are you afraid that I'm gonna make good on my threat to have your ass shit back to Penn, though? <laughs> I try to do something nice for my son, and this is the thanks I get. Let's talk about what you try to do, huh? Let's talk about drugs. The only drugs I'm involved in are for my cholesterol and the ones that are supposed to keep me on an even mental keel. You think I'm playing? If I was involved in something substantial, you really think I could get it by you? You try to hide it. Yeah, take it easy, John. I'm an old man. Things are a lot more brittle. You're messing up my favorite shirt. You make a generous gesture. Your kid tries to kill you. I'm just returning the favor. Oh. You gotta bring that up now and spoil the moment. It was so long ago. Well, you act like you were late picking me up from school. You fired a gun at me. You were out of control when you were younger. You needed handling like some circus animal. That came later. After I realized the kind of circus that I was born into. See, I know you're getting a little older and details are a little fuzzy these days, so let me clear it up for you because I remember every detail. My mother begging you not to harm me. You accusing her of coddling me and making me soft. I was upset. I had a temper back then, high blood pressure. The meds messed me up. And she paid with her life for it. And I paid for it every day. It drove me crazy. What do you want from me? Answers. Huh? This prescription drug thing? You stealing them from hospitals, doing downgrade turnarounds? Who told you that, Corinthos? He's always trying to make trouble, cause a rift. You're too smart to believe that crap. No, this was your big plan all along, wasn't it? The one you've been talking about that you were going to unleash when Sonny was distracted with Brenda? Distracted? <laughs> she dumped him. Well, good for her. You know, for a guy who, who fancies himself such a player, Sonny really doesn't seem to know how to keep a woman. The plan, Pop. The drugs. And I ability is a beautiful thing. <laughs> it's like music to my ears. Hey, hi. I didn't ask for an analysis on Sonny's love life. I want to know the extent of our involvement in this prescription drug operation. Come on, play me a song. Play me something by one of those dead people you like. Indulge that deep artistic temperament. You're lucky that I have an outlet, that I'm inspired by those dead people, because what else would I do with this frequent urge to squeeze your windpipe until it snaps? Man, all that tension, John. That's a lot of tension. You need to get rid of it. Come on, take this baby for a ride. Pick all those virgin ivories. You're still not giving me answers. You want to run things? You run things. Just give an old man a hobby, a little something on the side. Oh, what, like trading your prescription narcotics? I've taken down Corinthos. There, another gift for you. That's two gifts. You break the peace, I break you. That's a promise. Yeah, when Sonny's dead, you can play him a nice dirge. And leave something. Michael alone, huh? Michael is not in my equation. Word of honor. You know, I finally restore some order after all the messes that you've made. I don't want you screwing up the balance. Stick to your roses. It's orchids now, and I'm upset because you're not paying attention, and after all I've done. All you've done is create mayhem and death. Now, you know, you need a nice girl, a good woman, a, what do you call it, a muse. Yeah, women don't have a long shelf life in our family. 
Good thing for you. Otherwise, some stinking sibling would be taking you out for the power position. You want balance, John? Put a ball on your nose. I'm looking to give you power. Give me? Or give yourself, huh? Uh, supply and demand, John. Drugs kill people, Pop. No. People use drugs to kill themselves. It's weakness. Addiction is a weakness. And weakness is an addiction. I take action, John. I make things happen. I provide. I give. And to give, you have to take. That's the balance. And the more you take, the closer you get to the top. Now, do you want to be on top, John? Or do you want to roll around like a little ball of crap in a rat hole? I get things done, John. What do you do? Yeah, he just left. I want you to follow him. I want to know what the hell he's up to. What's the word on Detective Spencer? He, he wandered down to the docks and there's still no sign of him. He could be floating with the garbage parts. Or been clocked on the interstate, got mugged and thugged. If, if Spencer does uh, manage to survive, a tox will show that he uh, indulged in his drug of choice and many others. It'll look like he took up partying again and went overboard. <laughs> <laughs> you want a doggy treat because you managed to do something right? What's up with the Irish Chicken Hospital? That's Spencer's green card wife. She's a problem. May have overheard my plans to use Lizetta's bakery as a holding place for the pharmaceuticals we're collecting in the area. Nurse Weber's untimely arrival kept me from extracting just how much she knows. What do you want to do? Wait and see. Then strike. I have your...